Hello everybody, I want to talk about packaging your fonts and I'm going to talk about it separately. So this video will be for those working in Keynote. You see I put together a Keynote presentation here and I've got some fonts that I want to include. So if I click to play on the presentation to show you what it looks like, uh, we can see that the presentation has a build here. Uh, the fonts start to appear all at the same time. You click to go to the next slide and we click and then the, the fonts all appear. So the build order of this is pretty simple. I didn't do anything too complex uh, for this particular presentation. You could see the build order inside each item. If we wanted to be a little more clever we could add some degree of animation. That would probably hold your interest a little bit more. Now that being said I want to talk about the fonts. That's the main thrust of this. So I've got some fonts in this presentation and I'm not sure if you've ever had this happen or if you haven't yet you definitely will. The fonts don't appear the same way when they're opened on somebody else's system. Well that folks is because font files are licensed and you want to make sure that you include those fonts with your presentation. So in this particular instance I'm working inside of Keynote there is no embedding function built into Keynote to embed those fonts in there. Uh, a lot of people assume, well, if I pick this font and I put it in the presentation, it should appear that way, and it just, it never has, and it never will really work that way, unfortunately. So what I need to do is I need to click on the item that I'm interested in. I want to make sure that I uh, look inside the menu here to figure out what particular font this is. So I'm going to go over to text, and I can see this font is called Druk, D-R-U-K. So if I want this to appear the same here as it does um, on a machine that I'm going to do a presentation on, I need to make sure that I include that. And I'm going to go about that process real quick to show you how to do that. So what we need to do is save this into a folder. Uh, in Inside that folder we are also going to locate that particular font, in this case, um, this this one's called Proxima Nova. There's one here called Druk, and the one on the bottom is Proxima Nova as well. We need to locate all the fonts that we use and put a copy of those fonts into, okay, into the uh, folder that contains this presentation. So I'm going to have to locate those fonts, and that's going to be my next step. Okay, folks, so because I am on a Macintosh, um, that's, and Macintosh is really the only platform that runs um, Keynote, I'm going to go ahead and use that as my example. You're going to look inside the library folder. You're going to click on the library folder, and you're going to scroll to where you see a fonts folder. And we're going to double click to open that fonts folder. And all the different fonts should be located inside here. Now, whatever font I need to, to locate, I'm going to click, and I'm just to save time, I'm going to show with this font up here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag this into a folder that contains my PowerPoint presentation. And that is the way that we would package or include fonts. Now, it'll only make a copy, so if I drag this into that folder, it's not going to eliminate it from this folder. I can't move it by accident. Because system files, uh, really at least on the, on the Mac inside that library folder can't be deleted that way. Dragging and dropping makes a copy of them automatically into the location that you want to take them to. So that's what we would do. We put the keynote presentation into a folder. We would take a copy of the font that we located. Okay, I'm going to go back to the Mac hard drive here. Inside your uh, Macintosh hard drive folder, you're going to look inside the library. You're going to look inside the fonts. And you're going to find the font that you want, you're going to take a copy of it, and you're going to drag it inside that folder. And then you can compress or zip or RAR, whatever compression you want to use that folder, in order to make that uh, accessible. Now, when you get to the computer that you're doing the presentation on, you have to do the exact uh, opposite process. You're going to open the file, you're going to take the fonts that are contained inside there, and you're going to drag them into the library font folder to install them. On a Mac you can just double click also on the font and it will automatically ask you if you want to install it into the system folder which is kind of a nice feature as well. So hopefully that makes sense of packaging or including fonts so that your presentation will be viewable across separate computers.